Biafra, Biafra, freedom, freedom, please. Um, our director will be in here any minute from now. So decorum is very, very important. We observe and keep calm. Okay, like I said, please, we are Biafra friends. Director is part of us. He's the head of this movement, down to eight human being, which all of us knew or know. So all I'm saying is that if he is coming in, please, yes, no rushing toward him. Very, very important. We observe that. Okay. So any moment from now, he will be in. So, um, Chichi. Hello, Chichi. Are you guys through? Because we need to make sure noise from that flank is properly reduced, please. Any noise from that flank, we have to reduce it. You know, we have to reduce it. All right. So, on Biafra, we stand, make no mistake. We are not going back. We are relentless and resolute about restoring our nation Biafra. We thank Chukwu Kikawa Biyama for his infinite mercy by keeping us alive till today. And we are alive today in the land of the living is not because we are the most righteous, but by his special grace that we are still alive here today. So we continue with this struggle and make sure that we restore it uh, to its logical conclusion. I thank you all guys, and for all people who come from far and wide. I can't thank you guys enough. It's not easy, but this thing we are doing is very, very sacrosanct. And it's very important for us for have a good life in future. I just want to make sure. Okay, so does everyone have their national our national anthem just in case if you can recite it? Eh? Yeah, but we just shared now. Let me source. Hello, Biafra. Like who said earlier on, our leader will be here any moment from now. There's a tiny bit hiccup, which we know that is not a problem. So he will be here any moment from now, based on information we received. So remain calm and lower your voice, please, so that. The noise is not too much. We thank you all for coming. It's not easy to leave whatever we are doing here today. But then, uh, what we are fighting for is more, more important than our work. Because it's between life and death. So we must make sure we restore our nation in order to live a so, um, yes, and again, people who come from far away, who happened or who might not go back to their place, uh, let me know. Uh, I believe you must have already made arrangements, but because of time we are starting, if you run late or if you hope that you cannot go back today, please kindly let us know. We'll make sure you are fine. We are beer friends. All right? Thank you very much. Beka Unusi. We have eaten and then we have to raise our voice. <laughs> you know that after food, there is this adrenaline. Ebeka <laughs> Unusi. 
ebeka ono naga Agama hapo Gane bozo gabiri Agama hapo Biafra Gane bozo gabiri Biafra Gadindu Alright, there are a few things I, I forgot to chip in Which, obviously, I don't know Because time we're going to start this program We decide we actually have quite a lot to talk about today, but um, it depends on which direction we are going when the program starts. So, uh, Biafran, you'll be surprised that we are having a Biafran football team. <laughs> and this World Cup coming, what are we going to do? Are we going to win it? Who believes that Biafran is going to win World Cup? Say hello! Bear friends are fantastic. All we are asking for is give us a platform to compete. That's all. That's all. You understand? Give us a platform to compete. And then we showcase our ingenuity. It's, it's uh, arrogant. You know, so football team up. I think there's another thing that is, will be very, very important. Probably, I don't know, sometime in summer. There might be get together again in summer, whereby uh, there will be different activities uh, involving other nations um, to compete. Another thing I'm suggesting, this is just um, an idea that come in my mind. Listen, any marathon coming up in London, yeah, please. Go and make sure you find out when there will be any marathon. Yeah. Marathon. I think yeah, I think around May. Biafra will run marathon. <laughs> we are not relenting. We will run marathon with our flag, with everything. And I tell you something. If they don't want to talk about us, we make sure that people hear our voice. So, all here. All here. So, are you in support of us? Okay, please. Our director is here. Now, like I said, we are beer friends. Can we be calm? Please come and listen. And it will be ideal. If when it's coming in, probably we might stand up, but then it might block people's view. So probably hence is here. We can now probably stand up. Not probably let us stand up and then uh, accord him that respect. But uh, we'll tell you when to do that. Once he's in this section, we can all stand up because if everyone stand up there, the little kids and uh, most of people who are not who are short like me might not see him. So let us do it that way, okay? There's something I want us to know. He's here now. So everyone, calm down. Yes, our director is coming in. Hands of our floors. Ebo director is coming in. Yeah, can we stand up? Can we stand up? Can we stand up for our director? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. IPOB 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 Biafra, Biafra, freedom, freedom. We thank Chukwukika Biama for bringing our leader here in our midst. It is not easy 
for him to be here because of running up and down, health as a very busy man, but we can't thank Gabriel enough for giving us someone like him. We are indeed blessed uh, to have him. Biafra, freedom, Ahmadiko Nyendu, you are highly welcome in the mix of your people, people who followed you, people who believe in you. We thank you so much for coming, and this is UK IPOB members gathered here from far and wide. Obviously, you know that it's not all of half of us is not here, but uh, they make the efforts. So we thank you for coming in uh, our mix. We didn't expect, but hence you are here. We are blessed to have you. Biafra! Freedom! All right, uh, our director said you guys should remain sit, sit down, please. Thank you very much. Okay. You have to deal with it. Okay, everyone should get ready because once our director settled now, we kick off with our national anthem. And then we take it there. Yeah. Okay, hand over to the national. Biafra, Biafra, freedom. Biafra. I'm almost hearing you. Not excited? I didn't hear you. Are you not excited? Biafra. Biafra, freedom. freedom. Biafra. Oh, you see, it's a great place. You here, sir? Your people have gathered. You motivated us. Say that courage is contagious, and we're all here because of you. People have come from far and wide, and it's a great pleasure for you to be here, sir. We are going to sing the national anthem because we are here to restore Biafra. So I hope you're all ready. I didn't hear that. I hope you're all ready. Yes. Okay, well, let's stand and sing a national anthem, please. We will sing just the and then we continue. Okay? So, please take your caps off and mark of respect. After two, one, two. Land of the rising sun, we love and cherish. Be Homeland of our brave heroes, we must defend our lives or we shall perish. We love protect our hearts from all our foes. But if the price is death for all we hold dear, then let us die without a shred of fear. All hail Biafra! All hail Biafra! All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Biafra! Freedom. Biafra! Freedom. It is customary that we pay a minute silence to all those who have been murdered by Nigeria and their, those who have been after us. We have to continue to honor them because they deserve to be honored. We're going to observe a minute silence.
souls of our departed and beloved Biafrans rest in perfect peace. Amen. You may be seated. We will continue with our program. I would like to introduce uh, Lola Carroll to come and share with us about where we've been, where we are now, and where we're heading. Please, Lola Carroll. You may have to dim the lights. Dim the lights. Good evening, Biafrans. All hail Biafra. Can you hear me very well? Can you see the screen? Okay, good. Uh, welcome, Director. I'm going to welcome Uchi Mafor and everybody here today. Um, to introduce myself, for those of you who don't know, I'm Carol Monday. I'm affectionately known as Law Law Carol Chinema Monday. I'm the special representative of the indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. Um, I want to discuss with you today embracing change as Biafra evolves. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit today about IPOB and how we are evolving, especially in, uh, in regard to media, because they are at the end of our struggle today. Um, I've been with IPOB now, apparently I was told recently, I've been with IPB seven years, um, so that's how long I've been in the struggle. IPB media started to expand shortly after the Jonathan elections, 2014-2015, uh, um, to counter the Eurobar media, the fake news, etc. Um, okay, so um, the Nigeria media houses are unfortunately... Um, not only do they carry nepotism and uh, sentimentalism, if you have a couple hundred pounds, you can pay a Nigerian media house to print whatever you want them to print because they have no loyalty to the freedom of press. Um, okay, so to counter the Eurobar media, we set up national media. And these are the national media families. Biafra writers, family writers, Umutuku writers, Biafra reporters, IPB writers, which at the moment is currently looking for a new editor. I'll come back to that in a minute. And most recently, the ad recent edition is TBRV, uh, for Restoration Voice. Um, if you go to the next one. The key for us is freedom of press. All of the families that I've just mentioned all run independently. They all are autonomous in the Biafran way. We're trying to rid ourselves of the Nigeria stigma. Um, none of the people that work in the IPOB media in any branch is paid. They are all volunteers. 
when we started the national media, that is, is to the reference worldwide for that. Um, when we started um, the IPOB media, it was it was on a skeleton fund, and as you know, media is the last to be funded in this struggle because there are a lot uh, greater priorities. Um, sorry, sorry, I don't have my reading glasses today. Um, no IPOB family member. This shouldn't be live, by the way. No IPOB family member is allowed to set up a website or use the IPOB name or the Radio BF for London, nam London name. Obviously, this is for security reasons. If you were to go and start up a training company, you wouldn't Nike, would you? Um, so the same way, you know, we, we maintain that you shouldn't um, set up another website with that. Without permission from the leadership, that is. All of the uh, national media, if we go back one again, all the national media have different websites. There are websites set up by IPOB, and we have affiliated websites. They're all checked by some leadership to make sure that they secure so that we have no sabotage or leaks from those websites. Other than that, they have freedom of press. Uh, the next one, please. Sorry. And of course, we have, going on from national media, we have BTV. And then... If we go to the next one, uh, and obviously everybody knows Facebook. We have admins that work the Facebook groups, Radio BF for London and Radio BF for London 2. Um, if you're on the wrong group, make sure you're on the group with 1.7 million people. Uh, the, radio, the Facebook group has admins that run 24 hours a day now. They, they clear between four to 5,000 posts a day in the group. So if yours is hanging a bit, uh, know that the volunteers are, are highly stressed. Uh, they do have regular day jobs, some of them, um, uh, those that are able to work within the media. Um, like I said, all volunteers, the only thing that they run on is Biafra spirit, which they have in abundance. Next one. Radio Biafra, this is the one we all know and love. Um, we started in London, um, Steve Director and uh, Uchima 4. We are now uh, currently airing for South Africa, Middle East, uh, USA 1, USA 2 and land so that we can expand the broadcast to run 24 hour hours a day. Um, next one. We also started Hauser Service in the north. Uh, Nigeria Hauser Service to combat the fact that they tried to make a Nigeria Radio Biafra, so we started the Hauser Service. Unfortunately, the Hauser Service is currently suspended at the moment for lack of funding. It's been down one to one to just over a month, I think. Uh, now, it costs a lot of money to run that service uh, daily uh, with the AM charges. And at the moment, our priority is to the Biafra land transmitters. So obviously, we have a lack of funding in the struggle with the election times. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I might trouble with my breathing. Um, obviously with the election times this is crucial for us at the moment but you know hopefully this will be back up in the next uh, few months. Although they are looking for alternative ways to uh, air the Niger PRB families worldwide. So a lot of people contributed to it and it was to raise money uh, for media on the ground. Okay so we've had a massive wide gap in media um, and we still have a massive wide gap. We're struggling to work with coordinators. Um, from the ground, we felt that we had a massive ground uh, uh, gap as well because the national media, some of them are from diaspora, um, and so we were missing a lot of the ground information. Uh, with welfare working with a lot of the media teams on the ground, also there's a shortage of information coming from what's happening on the ground to what to up onto the mainstream to media and also uh, to go to Intel. So we set up state media. And these are the state media houses. If I can remember them off the top of my head. Uh, the northern state media is for Nigeria. So we get uh, feedback from Kano and um, all the places in the north. Uh, you'll see all your states there. Enugu, Imo, Abia, Bayelsa, Delta, um, 
also we cover sorry also we cover Abuja and Lagos um, I think of rivers as well I missed there um, so we're covering all the state medias however the state media is very struggling right now they are attacked daily and you will see you must have seen on the Facebook group recently um, you cannot imagine what the state media goes through on a daily basis and they survive on handouts throughout IPOB. There is, there is little, very little fun, funding for media because they're at the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. Um, obviously, legal, um, uh, current affairs for politics, etc. There's a lot more funding that has to go out before they get to media. The state media teams are, like I said, struggling they're to deal with welfare. Their businesses are attacked. Shops are burnt down. They come to their houses, they arrest, arrest them. If they're students, in the students from universities, they go to the university and they go to the, de to the uh, head desk, whatever, and they say, oh yes, call this student, and then they arrest that student at the university. They go to people's jobs and wait for them. <laughs> so currently, our state media is having major problems on the ground <laughs> with arrests. Um, quite often, their video equipment, equipment is taken, their phones are smashed, police harass them, they are your front line and they are suffering. Um, today I read a report from a South African journalist who was picked up and he was, they thought he was an IPOB media journalist. He was held in the back of a van for two, for two hours before they realized he had a South African accent. So that, and then they released him. So that goes to show you what they do to be Africans. Um, uh, next one. Oh, no, this one. Um, this is the Biafra State uh, newspaper. To not rely on handouts to make money, they now have a Biafra Land newspaper. This is only the second edition now. They are having problems again with security. It's dangerous to print this, but they're still doing it and still trying to raise money rather than ask for handouts. They want to try and do it on their own, and it's something we're investing uh, to try and help them to support them to get going. Because once that goes out into every coordinated family, it will raise money for the media. Quick timeline: um, uh, new media. This is this is actually director's baby and uh, deputy director's baby because they like to tweet. Um, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, this uh, section is the new media now, uh, like I said, it's director's baby, uh, to help bring Twitter and the new formats of social media forward um, in a struggle. Because there's a lot more coming on Vivo, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, there's quite a few coming now. Uh, last one. It's all right, I've only got 30 seconds left. Um, we uh, rely on, on handouts for data and equipment. Uh, expansion now. We want to expand the music department because, like we know, everybody often loves music. We have quite a few celebrities in Europe that work with us now, um, and we want to expand on that. We have existing studios for music. We have one in Biafran and one in New York with an. We want to expand on that. BTV development is now going to to work more with the film industry, so Biafra has their own industry rather than relying on Nollywood. Uh, education, obviously it's a primary one. Um, and obviously we want to end, we want to encourage uh, European nations especially for education funding so we get to more events, the World Genocide events. Uh, BEAD, which is advertised here today, is the uh, UK one. Um, and we're looking for a more permanent setting for a world genocide event so we can get all the information of what is happening to Biafrans. Uh, Biafra Goods is another one made in Biafra. Uh, charity begins at home, so they say. So we are in trying to encourage more made in Biafra. Uh, the final plea I'm going to give before I run off uh, cooperation between the IPUB. We are family. Thank you. Um, assistance in media if you are volunteer if you can volunteer any of your time we do want very good writers if you have any experience with the uh, computers if you are good at editing or if you just are, are very good at uh, doing political
political speeches, please contact me. Um, also, it's a sense of duty. We have a sense of duty to Biafra. Like I said, we're volunteers. Um, if you volunteer, your time will be great. Although I know most of you are volunteers and coordinators here. Um, like I said, it's to bridge the gap between the coordinators, the media. Those of you who are coordinators here have have uh, media personnel in your team. I think Leeds, we've got uh, BTV here. London has quite a few media team. If it, it does bridge the gap for the coordinators if they're linked with media because then they get to to know what's happening. Uh, when you come into the media teams, we don't just bring you in and you work because we because we're structured to be auto autonomous. It's how you work. If you do well, you shift up quickly. It's the amount, amount of work that you can add into it. We don't, we can't, we can't hold dead weight, which unfortunately, as people move, location, personal things happen to them. Obviously, we have to keep regenerating the media stuff. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you, everybody. All hail Biafra. Lola Chidima, thank you for that. Um, the next um, able leader, uh, superior leader, I'd like to present someone very special. Um, she's also called Chidima, but um, she's been campaigning for Biafra since the 60s. In fact, over here is a picture. Yep. We went to Hull, and another lady, a white lady, said, I remember Biafra when I was at university, but 50 years ago. We have our own <laughs> Lola, Chidima, Veronica, and in my hand is the money they were paying in the 60s for defense fund. This is um, 28th of April, 1968, defense fund. Now, they were students in those days. And they came to study, but the war broke out. But she not only go on the campaign marches, she also paid defense fund. So no more excuses, guys. <laughs> so please, Lola, so come and talk to us. Good evening, our Supreme Leader. Mazima for directors and... Um, our coordinators, um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming tonight, well, today, for this wonderful meeting. My main purpose for standing here is um, we've been campaigning regarding setting up women um, forum, women organization. Because where there is um, any organization without strong backing of women, that organization doesn't really move forward. Because there is no man. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody is born of a woman. And therefore, women can do a lot. I came here in the 60s as a student and in 2010 I decided to take an early retirement and go home because there is no place like home. I went home, sold all my properties here, sold everything, sold my car because I was a lecturer so I was able to drive all over the place and went home, spent three years there. It was I had to come back because the place was not good, really not good. So when I came back, I started from scratch. It's against my wish to be here. I've been in the forefront of really campaigning for us to get Biafra. I have children, I have grandchildren, and it would be my greatest wish see that Biafra exists. Someone, someone wrote in the platform Facebook and said, why do we talk about Biafra? Why do we talk about Biafra? After all, 
when Biafra comes, is the same people that makes up Nigeria that will stay in Biafra that we need to really think about. I said to them, even if I have to sell my property and make sure that Biafra exists, I will do so. I love Biafra so much. I went home. I could have got, I went home to Nigeria, spent three years. I could have gone to Abuja, I could have gone to Lagos, I could have, but I stayed in Oweri. I am from Oweri and I stayed there. So my, my main purpose today is not to do anything but to say that we need to set up a women's, for, a women's organization and um, we are privileged to have been given the permission to set up women organization. And this is the symbol. It's called Association of Biafran Women. No, Association of Biafran Action Women. It's, abbre it's abbreviated as ABA Women. ABA Women. When you look at it at the top, A, B, small a, and W. It sounds about women. And about women is this year, about women, on the 18th of November, my birthday is 17, so I remember this distinctively. On the 18th of November, this year will be 90 years, women stood their ground in Abba and said, we are not paying tax. Yes? So our women have been really, really very active. Even when I went home, women were buying lands, building properties, letting it out. We, women in England, we need to really get up and do something. So, and this is, <coughs> this is, this is shared we have designed. We are still preparing things. This is the t-shirt. So we are hoping that I've taken some names today. So we are hoping to set up women organization that would not only cater for the new generation, but also cater for women that are back home struggling. Because women there, they would do anything. They would go to different places. When we ask women to contribute or do something here, we are always penny pinching. We cannot get Biafra by penny pinching. We have to put our hand in our pocket and make sure that that Biafra comes in. Because nobody, nobody in this world that is a slave, because they treat us like slaves in, the, in there. Biafra women have always been anywhere. I was researching to see if the same taxation they impose on Biafra women in 1929, did, was it the same in the north? No. Was it the same in the south, in the, in the western region? No. It's only in Biafra land. That, is it. that was done. So, can we really, because once we are emancipated, we will not be getting any more bad treatment. We need to stand up and be counted. And it is time we say that, yes, we need to stand and we need to now start preparing. We need to start preparing for 18th November uh, 2019 for the 90th anniversary of Aba Women. I salute you all and thank you all. Thank you, sir.
Good evening, the great people of Biafra. Wherever you are, I welcome you. You welcomed me earlier. I am now welcoming you to this very live presentation because the whole world is listening to us. We are live and we are direct from this very location here in London on this very sad day. It is a very sad day because a lot of people have been killed back home. It is a very sad day because nothing works in the zoological republic. It is a very sad day because the whole essence and tenet of democracy has been turned on its head. And I'm sure that civilized nations watching what is happening in the zoo cannot believe it. The only bright side to my experience today is that I came here all gathered here. It is a spot of good news for me on this very sad day. But I'm here to address all of you, to look at the issues that have been bothering this very great family in the UK, because UK is arguably the strongest IPOB family in the whole world. I need you to understand that. Now, I want to stand when I'm addressing you with the microphone, please. Well, it's microphone. This very IPOB family in the UK is very unique. When we started, it wasn't this way. But when I was incarcerated, when I was imprisoned by the now late, dead, decaying Buhari somewhere in Saudi Arabia, this great family came to life. And you have my respect, you have my regard, and because of the work you are doing, Biafra is going to come. Our mother and our sister spoke about Abba women. They were the first to rise against colonialism in the whole of Africa. Because flowing through our veins is freedom. We are born as free people and we are going to die like free people. journey sometimes appear so difficult that some of us begin to think about the impossibility. But nothing is impossible before Chukuki Kabiamada asked us to come. Apart from the Jews in Israel, of which of course we are related to, and I can prove it to you if you want me to, tonight. We worship Elohim by the name we give to our children. Ndiyachanaza brown, pink, yellow, Penelope. I go to Adam. Adam has a chupu day. Chupu blife. Ife ni chupu. Chino muso. Chito de nata. That same one indivisible Elohim in heaven. There is no way he can be in heaven and allow us to continue to suffer in the damnable theological republic is impossible. That is what drives me, that is what propels me. And I give me a Pharisee. I don't worship idol. I worship the same that our ancestors worshipped. The nonsense happening today in the zoo was tried 300 years ago. 
After the Fulani succeeded in conquering the entire Hausa race and subjugated them, turned them from the hard brain monarchies into the Emirates you have today. Ourselves helped them to decimate the Middle Belt. They helped them to conquer parts of Yoruba land. Fulani never succeeded before, and not in this time, they can never succeed. They came to fight corruption before. 300 years ago, they came to Hausa land and told them, we have come to fight corruption. Today, in the 21st century, luckily he's now dead. They are still fighting. The same people that claim they are fighting corruption, are the same people today snatching ballot boxes. They are the ones emptying the treasury, driving the money to Tribu's house in Lagos to be shared amongst voters. They are the same people this very day giving money to people to vote for them. But they have come to fight. We keep selling ourselves short all the time. When I say it, there was a German reporter that came to my house in 2017 when I was released from prison. After interviewing me, he wrote a report for Deutsche Welle in Germany and said to them that I'm a racist. And I said to them, if defending my people is racism, then I will gladly answer to the name a racist. And I will tell you why. What do you think the cabal is doing in the zoo? Do you think they love you? We called for election boycotts to achieve something. To show them how powerful we are. To show them how powerful you are. To prove to the zoo that IPOB is the greatest, most formidable freedom fighting outfit in the whole world. Banon. Banon. When we started, they called us miscreants, jobless. I like that word, miscreant. I like on our The whole world is listening to us. They call all of you miscreants. The day they referred to this great family as miscreants, I knew that was the end of the zoo. Who is our UK coordinator? He's a what? An orthopedic surgeon. Do you know of any full and orthopedic surgeon? I will ask again, do you know of any full and any orthopedic surgeon before? Alimajri is calling an orthopedic surgeon a miscreant. Then you judge for yourself who the miscreant is. Did they conduct elections today in the zoo? Is that in elections? We determined that it should be that way. Listen very, very carefully to me. This great family called IPOB determined that the outcome of the zoo elections will be mad with violence and mayhem. Inconclusive. That's what they will say tomorrow. How did we make it possible? Because we knew from the beginning when they heard about our boycott, APC, the governing party, was very pleased. Obina Toha. I said in IPOB, I always have three plans. To, you only know one. In this case, boycott. Uchemme for no stew.
by virtue of the authority he gave me, I am the only person that knows all three. When the history of 2019 elections is written in the zoo, one name will be dominant. IPOB. We are selling the food and the onion. Boycott. Very serious trap. I'm having health issues. This is a guy who opened my book and he's money one. They brought every Igbo elder, every Biafran elder that I respect, to pressure me to call it off, and I said no. Until you sign my documents for me. And that very document was duly signed. And we have it. Once they signed the document, I lifted the boycott to achieve two things that some of you may not know. If we had gone ahead with the boycott, our land would have been divided. Do you know that? Because our people are Republicans by nature. What we'll be hearing is that none the corner of the paper on the land model. Understand me very well. The other thing that it did was to ensure that nobody will blame us for what is happening today in the zoo. Had we not lifted the boycott, every violent act, every mayhem, every bombing, every killing will be attributed to IPOB. Some people were complaining back home. As an animal, I can lift the boycott to the camp. That's where you got it wrong. You don't understand that when you're going to war, you have different approaches. It is not everybody today who is part of our security back home. Some people are in the media, as Carol said. Some people will work for our women. Some of you are coordinators. Some of you are standing guard to them, making sure that we are safe. Let those that have the PVC go and represent your interest. You don't have to be there. Understand this logic very simply. If you have PVC or not, it doesn't matter. Those that have their PVCs have covered you. Are you aware of that? You that did not select your PVC, you made it possible also for the agreement to be signed. Do you understand what I'm saying? to prove to them that without guns and bullets we will collapse the zoo. If they had known that I would call off the boycott, the elections wouldn't have continued. They would have stopped. But I lifted the boycott when it was too late for them to do anything about it. The only alternative left for Jubril is to introduce murder, to introduce chaos, to introduce mayhem. And that's what they're doing today. But one fact is very clear. Those that doubted us before when we call Nigeria a zoo, would they doubt us anymore now? Will they doubt us anymore again? Have you seen how many people they've killed? Some of you are not on social media. Go and have a look. When we tell them that the zoo cannot conduct elections, nobody wanted to believe us. But it's now very clear for the whole world to see that Nigeria is unworkable. 
Nigeria is unworkable. Anybody who believes in Nigeria with any sense of sincerity needs medical help. When I spoke about Jubril, I told the whole world about Jubril. In Israel, I had a meeting with very important people. When I go to such meetings, I don't go alone. I took other people with me. And I asked the lady, do you know who Buhari is? She said to me, but of course he's dead. Who do you know he's dead? And I said to her that in the zoo, they don't believe that Buhari is dead. And she asked me why are they finding it difficult to believe. I said because they know if they concede that Buhari is no more, the zoo will no longer exist. That means they've been living a lie. That means they brought in this man from Sudan to impersonate a whole president of a country. And who are those involved in the conspiracy? I will tell you. The only suffer and it about that governs your life. Those that can appoint any security chief without anybody talking about it, there's nothing you can do about it. They can appoint whoever they like. INEC is full on Customs is full on Police is full on Immigration is full on NMPC is full on Navy is full Every, Where there is no stream, under the stream in the desert, is a, is a naval commander. only in the zoo. They conspired with Yoruba media because an enemy of my enemy is my that was what they did. Yoruba media decided to run against the Jubilee story knowing fully well that any credible expose on Jubilee will bring the zoo to an end. And they don't want the zoo to come to an end because they are benefiting from it. Um, that was why some of our brothers, those that collected amnesty money and sold themselves and not us, this is one thing they never understand. All the oil that fuels the economy of the zoo comes from our land, isn't it? Is it therefore appropriate that all the headquarters of the oil companies are located in Yoruba land? There is a man called Akinola Aguda. You may not know him. Do you know him? Do you know him? He was the Yoruba man that chaired the committee that saw the transfer of the capital of the zoo from Lagos to Abuja. And when they were doing it, Akinola Aguda extracted from Ibrahim Badamosu Bwangida and the Fulani elite that every seaport in Biafra land will be closed. Only Lagos will be open if they want the capital to move to Abuja. And they agreed. They agreed. So you don't know that before. Now you know. Akinola Aguda was the man responsible for making sure that Igwoka seaport is not working, Wari seaport is not working, Kalaba is not working. And some of our people can still stand up and tell me that there is something decent about one Nigeria. And not only that, after shutting down your seaports, you go to Lagos to clear your goods or your cars. And then they use the same full and custom men that you paid in the wharf. They line them on the road again all the way to your village. Collecting money from us as we go past each and every checkpoint. When you complain, you go to the commissioner of police in your state or to the DPO. The, the same DPO is from Fulani. In our own land. 
none of the people attempting to fault IPOB strategy can tell us today what they have done for our people. As I said, when the terms and conditions that they signed up to are published, most of them will commit suicide. I assure you of that. I have been saying it and I keep saying it. I have met many people. We have discussed Biafra. They have asked me what will it take. And I challenge anybody to go and ask any of them. What my response has always been. This thing that my people want must be done. Nobody can ever tell you that in them they cannot ask for this or for that. When Ojuz or Carlo came to prison to see me, I would have I told you before what we discussed. I will tell IPOB UK today. Ojuz or Carlo asked me to abandon their fragitation. But anything I want can be given to me. I have witnesses. I have witnesses. And I asked him, how do you intend to emancipate our people? And he suggested full participation in the politics of the zoo. And I said to him, let us assume that I agree with you. What do you think is the pressing need now? For a Biafran in the zoo. Of an Igbo man to be very particular. He said we need presidency. Listen very carefully. And I said to him. Since you have honored me by coming here to see me. And by recommending we join zoo politics. Please go amongst all of you the Aaron boys that call themselves elite. Go and bring out one person amongst all of you. Say this is our political candidate. If you do it, I will support you and that very person. Do you know what he told me? That it is not possible. Go and ask. I said, go and produce somebody. And I said to him, have you seen how you have sold yourself so cheaply? When I was arrested on the 14th, it was October, wasn't it? 2015. IPOB all over the world rose. We blocked Head Bridge on it for four days. No traffic. I never paid anybody to do that. IPOB recognized what I represented. I knew that if they don't do anything, they still will insult me. <laughs> IPOB blocked me, Janica. Obasan just said, give them presidency. Babangida said, give them presidency. All it would have taken was for Hanesa to rise up and to say that what IPOB is saying is correct. That's all it would have taken. And the zoo will be gone for good. When that time came, as they normally do, how can people be there and um, and this small boy is uh, telling you people what to do? Instead of fighting the zoo that is killing us, they left the zoo, they started to attack Nam the Kano and IPOB. You know what they did very cleverly? That offer of presidency, they withdrew it and put it in their pocket. And said, we now have them where we want them. Let them go and be fighting amongst themselves. Near world, they abandoned what they were supposed to be doing and started fighting me and IPOB. That was how your presidency went through the window. And I went to Enugu to see Near world. I can't go too much in Abaliago. I 
I've come to greet you. He asked me, how are we going to do this thing? And I said to him, go to Abuja and get them to sign my document. I never change. I don't change. Very, very consistent. He said, I should call off election boycott in Anambra. And I said to him, use it as a leverage. Go to Ukwawosa and tell them that these people are saying no. Give me something to take back to them. Understand the language. Give me something. And they asked me what is that something and I gave them this list was formed in 2015. It doesn't it has never changed. I gave him the same list. Say take it to them. They must give us something now before we lift any boycott, isn't it? They refused. Anambra elections. This thing we are doing now, we've done it before, in case you don't know. Let me remind you. November of 2017, we did exactly the same thing. Rather than coming to sign the agreement, they brought army to come and kill me and to kill IPB. These are able men. I asked them, what did I do to you? Open it. They said he doesn't listen to elders. I said, but me too, I am an elder. I take off from KB, a place that nobody even remembers. But not Calabar, Margaret Ebo International Airport. When you board Ethiopia Airlines sometimes from Enugu, you stop in Kanu, stop over before you continue your journey. But international flights can fly into City Jeba, they call it or whatever nonsense is called in the north. Do you know how many international airports they have in the north? You don't know. It's over 10. Over 10. I asked them to upgrade their Nugu airport to the same standard as Lagos. I asked them to open Igota Seaport. I asked them to build all our roads. Igota, Enugu, Enugu, Anisha. Is that a bad thing? These are simple things that can be done. And I said to Niawood, if you cannot take this simple demand to Abuja, I don't know what you're doing here. I can't understand it. Is it difficult that you want your roads built? You want your airports opened? You want your seaports opened? Is that too big a thing to ask for? The alternative was to come and kill me. They came, and as they say, the rest is history. They came to my house to kill me. They didn't succeed. The next place they saw me in was in Israel, in Jerusalem, when I was praying. online and I said to them if you manage to cross Badagri without passport and survive it then you know what it means to travel to Israel without a passport 
And I told them that I will come back to England. From where we started this very journey. To address the people that made it possible for this journey to start from here. And as I told you in 2015, I will go back to the zoo. No, we need there and I'm back I will return to the zoo. And when I do so, the world will hear about it. The year 100 for nature of Corona 2022 will happen that same day. I said this last night and I'll repeat this very adage. In the sense that our people remember this all the time. Why we do things the way we do it. Their friends are Republicans. When you're leading them, as you're running ahead, once in a while, you give up on your as well. Once in a while, you know how we are. There's a way you be running at the front. Has no people like I don't want to tell you where by. I'm not going to question. I lifted the boycott because I wanted Biafra to be one, marching forward, always. We can't afford any division in the house. We cannot afford any ideological conflict within this very house. But above all, above all, we have what we have been looking for for a very long time. And by lifting this very boycott, the zoo is boiling today because of it. And from it, the zoo will never ever recover. You see today's date. Today is the 23rd, isn't it? The zoo can never recover from this. That is why you must all remain very strong and resolute determined and focused. It is only now that I'm beginning to appreciate what our leader went through. To serve our people is one of the most difficult assignments in the whole world. They said Moses suffered. I said Moses did not eat their people. Because had Moses led our people, you know that time that the Red Sea opened. As they're walking through, Moses will close it. Our people are very, very difficult, but at the same time, at the same time, one half of as you open this again for me, please. I said today, today, then I could go 23rd, February. We are intelligent people. There is a very big difference between being intelligent and being clever. It's not the same thing. God for boycott. Oh, what did you call for boycott? Okay, we've lifted it. Oh, what did you lift it? I don't understand. I don't understand them. This man that I'm wearing a dark suit, they will say, why didn't you wear a white one or gray? INEC postpones elections in Lagos in rivers, in Anambra, and others. This is happening because we lifted the boycott. That's all. And there's no date when they will do it again. 
all over now. He's feeling for the zoo. Do you see how IPOB fight? Do you see how we reason? It is not due to our strength, our might, our intellect, our understanding, our superior reasoning. It is by the grace of Tukokikabi Amapurumiyanina. There was an old mother today, back home. I don't know if anyone has seen the video. She was saying, I want to call me in the IPOB in poor. Churches and gas for her today. Now, when we tell them that the that Nigeria is a zoo, would anybody doubt us anymore? If we tell them that the zoo is unworkable, would they doubt us anymore? Uh, it is a good thing. I can have to yambo. Anything we cost remain cost. I was in the prison and I cost the zoo. I was here. I'm all this is my man. But I said to Britain, if you don't reverse your policies on Biafra, Elohim will deal with you. Did you hear me when I said that before? Britain must repent and support Biafra. If listen carefully to me, if Britain doesn't turn around to support Biafra, this country will be decimated that the Queen will only have England, even and East Anglia to call a kingdom. I, 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 what I'm telling you is fact. Simple fact. Because I, one of my British friends, I spoke to her. And I said to her, do you know why God will punish Britain? And she said, no. I said, because we are the only people that has something in common with Britain more than any other race in Africa. And she said, but how, how, how is that possible? I said, let's start from our names that we even answer. Do we answer what culture? Where we come from? What culture? What culture? Do they have Mr. White and Mr. Black here? Or can they bring land on where I want to be on her back. There is Mr. White and Mr. Black in England. The same way we have Woko culture and Woko G. And I said to them, it is only in Biafra land as well as in England. Because don't take anything away from them. England remains the most civilized country in the whole world. By none. I'm being honest with you. By none. This is the most civilized place on the face of this very earth. England is. And I was saying to her that the same thing is applicable to Biafra. And she said, why? I said, in my compound now, if I go outside and I see a visitor and I start to molest or to beat up that very visitor, somebody will come and ask me, what did that person do to you? Only Biafras can do that. And that is why our life is incompatible with that of our Safulani forever and ever. We are not the same people. We can never be the same people. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. That is why we agitate and that is why we keep agitating until Biafra is restored. You know, sometimes in this movement, we can be moving forward. We see an obstacle which we cannot explain to you. Rather than smash through the obstacle, we simply bypass it and we continue. Do you understand? 
How many of you know that Python Dance was conceived to provoke IPAB to see how many weapons we have? Do you know that is why they did it? They came to test us to see if we can retaliate. Once I give the order for retaliation, you know what they will do? They go to Sabon Gari in Kanu, they will kill Igbo people. And then, and then and the Omahi will say, Hey, did we tell you he came to cause war? But I'm, I'm smarter than them. I asked the men not to retaliate. That Chuko Kikabam will fight for us. And today, Chuko Kikabam is fighting for us. Because this is collapsing. This is collapsing. I ask you for one thing. I know, you know, some of us who don't read very lengthy articles online. We want to look at the headline or the first or two paragraphs. Those, those go. I will ask each and every one of us here, please, if you're lettered enough to try and be online to help Carol and the team in the great work that they're doing. Very, very important. We have fought and defeated many enemies along the way. Very many enemies. And there are greater ones to come as well. And I'm asking you that the only way we can get to our promised land, which is Biafra, not just by mouthing unity and the sense of purpose, you have to demonstrate it individually and collectively. That takes me to the hierarchy of IPOB and how we function. I'll use UK as an example. Every coordinator in the UK is loyal to our national coordinator. Listen. There were those I chased away from IPOB because they were rude and insolent to my deputy. I take loyalty very, very seriously. The same way I'm loyal to you. I will never let you down. Not, no, it can never ever happen. Be rest assured. <laughs> Having said that, our national leader in the UK, Dr. Justice Okachi, has an executive that will guide him in what he's doing. And who are those executives, if you may ask me? Our coordinator in Birmingham, the one in Manchester, the one in London, the one in Cornwall, in all these great cities you have scattered all over the UK, they make up his cabinet. Are you following me? I'm telling you how IPOB functions. Every coordinator in London, every, I said every coordinator, be it in, in Nonhead, uh, be it in um, anywhere that is Greater London, reports to the London coordinator. Do you follow me? I didn't ask you to report to the national coordinator. You report to your local coordinator, the London coordinator, who now takes your concerns to the national coordinator. Before you get to the national coordinator, you go through the local coordinator you have, be it London, be it Manchester, be it Scotland, be it Wales, whatever it is. It's very, very important you understand this. I want when our national coordinator in the UK is coming out, there will be respect and recognition of his office. If anybody disrespects our national coordinator, they will no longer be part of this very family. Very important. In the same vein, any coordinator in London who disrespects the London coordinator is a very serious trouble. The same thing happens in Manchester, in Birmingham, and in all the very big cities. That is the essence of command and control. We respect who is at the head. We tell you the truth. IPAB, they tell me the truth all the time. If that ones. It doesn't mean that they hate you. It means that they want you to be better. To improve. Because people go to places and they talk about us. They wouldn't want you to do anything that would bring shame to them. 
why they advise, they keep telling, they keep writing all the time. Advice that we get. I want this family to be one. Because we have nothing. We have no knives, we have no guns, we have no bombs. The only thing that we have that our enemies are still struggling to find out how we made that possible is our unity and sense of purpose. That is what defines IPOB. When I was in prison, some people wanted me to die in prison. I did not die inside prison. Oh, they became so sad and unhappy. I came out. They said, he has sold the struggle. I said, sell the struggle to who? To your papa or to your mother? Who did I sell it to? They couldn't answer me. They said he will no longer move about. Because I understand full and more than they understand themselves. They wanted to do to me what they do was Rike. You don't know that? Go and look at the was Rike's bad condition. The same thing as mine. Don't move about. Don't talk. Don't eat uh, before 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, make sure you're in bed by 9 o'clock in the evening. When I came out of prison, I said to the world that I must preach this very gospel. They said I shouldn't go to places. If you come here, we will shoot you. If you come here, you will die. I reminded them of what I did in 2015. I don't know how many of you were with us then. In 2015, I traveled to Biafra land to go and do our remembrance, our heroes, on the 30th of May. I was in Abba. And there were threats all over the place that they will kill me when I come to Abba. I said, okay, I want to die in Abba. Because of that, I will come with my mother. So that when I die, somebody will take me back to where I come from. My mother came and sat beside my podium. And I said to her, if they shoot me and I die here today, you only have one assignment. You take me back to Sama for and bury me there. But today I will preach this very gospel. And we did. And nothing happened. They said I shouldn't move about. I shouldn't talk. I shouldn't speak. And I said, you're lying. The first man to call for my arrest because I was holding rallies. He's now dead. He was a senator. He died four weeks ago. I held rallies, unannounced rallies. I don't announce my appearance until four hours. Because if I give them four days notice, there will be, there'll be no movement. Anywhere I go to, the place is shut down without any announcement. Without paying people to identify with IPOB. That is one thing about our people that I love very much. And I said to them, it is easier to get our people. Very, very easy to get them. And they asked me what. I said the truth is your good Once they know you need to follow you. The day that my house was attacked, I was on my way to Ogoni land. Some of you don't know this before. Ogoni elders invited me to come address them. They got wind of it. And they said, if we allow him to do in Ogoni, what happened at Obi, but when, we, when he went there, we will lose all of that area to Biafra. They attacked me at Obakala. They were firing live ammunition at us. Anybody who was there. And maybe I think the same time must have recorded it. Not in my house. At Obakala. Before they came to my house. We survived it. And then they felt that the best thing for them to do was to come and kill me. So when I see people writing or saying what they don't know about IPOB and myself and this great movement, I feel sorry for them. But I have only one comfort consoling me. 
come for the one wine, you call Poku Beke. I'm not one wine. I'll have to rephrase that. Uh, eh? Are you sure? I said I have one comfort. Comfort of one wine. Can you go? Eh? I'll be taken. I'll see you. The only consolation that I have is when I look back, I see IPOB behind me. When I go through on the German market, it's shut down. Drive through only. Driving through only. Not on a visit, just a drive through. As a problem. Isn't it very funny that since I came back to the UK, I keep seeing your people everywhere. And they keep wanting to take pictures with me. Without you, I am nothing. Do you know that? Do you know that? I am who I am because of you, because of IPUD. ago that I will never ever let you down. Any day I wake up in the morning and not pray for you and not think about IPOB and how to restore Biafra. To put the car behind if you don't take my life, I know you're not God. Because of you, I do what I do. Knowing fully well that victory is round the corner. And I ask all of you here present, please understand what I said tonight. Understand how IPOB structure functions. Our national coordinator cannot hold a national executive meeting without all his coordinators around the country in attendance. Understand this very well. And who are those people I have mentioned? Of course, he has his deputy. And um, how many people How many people do you have in your executive? How many people do you have you directly appointed running IPOB right now in the UK? Mm -hmm. Yes, twenty-five at the moment. That is executive. Those twenty-five coordinators. That is executive. But there are the very big ones, those that control the very big cities. You must understand this. On our national, please. Nobody from Birmingham or Manchester should come to you without first going through their coordinator. The same thing applies in London. Nobody. When they come to you, ask them to go and see their coordinator. Unless they have a complaint. That was the reason why I removed everybody challenging UTMFO. If you challenge him, I will remove you. I never promoted Carol Monde, but she was there right from the beginning. I said this in London meeting and allow me to repeat because the world is listening. There are people that contributed so much to this very movement. Even those I have not seen or met before. I acknowledge and recognize all your hard work and your effort towards this very movement. We are not doing it for a reward. Can go in a London or zone. And I am a Marian. I am not doing Biafra because I want to be head of state because I will not be. And make a whole heart. Only goes in mercy. Go and make sure that Biafra is restored and your work is done and you're out of the way. Those that will run Biafra, I will send them. I am not doing what I'm doing to command or to rule over anybody. Understand this, please. But I'm very glad today, having seen what I have seen previously at the London 
hardcore meeting, we called it. And this general house today, the whole of the UK, I can confidently say that the IPOB family in the UK are in very safe hands. The only good thing you will do for me is that you will give our national coordinator your fullest cooperation imaginable. I am a human being, so also is my deputy, the national, the London coordinator. Sometimes I may get it wrong because I'm human. And when you want to correct me, you correct me with a lot of affection. Correct me with love, if possible. You can admonish me, but admonish me with concern for the integrity of this very movement. Not out of spite, jealousy, envy, or greed. Come see your team, as you have a new power, sir. In our Salando, in Kanu, none of your relatives in Kanu voted today. They said no. Do you know that? Our people in Kanu were not allowed to vote today. Those in those in Igbo dominated areas in Lagos were not allowed to vote today. Umana IPAB were I Do I need to go and evangelize anymore that uh, Nigeria don't want us? Oh well, I'm not going to go and look for see. You see this IPOB every time we call ourselves Sumu Chineke. We don't even know the meaning of it. I want to let you know that IPOB was ordained by God Himself. And that is why. That is why this movement can never be broken by anybody. Only chapter one, but I want. It could be on Facebook for only three or four days. It gets you going somewhere. You can't do anything to IPOB. I'm telling you. The killers will come out to match the next day. The killers will come out to match the very next day. Because we are determined. Because we are resolute. Because we don't retreat nor surrender. Somebody told Fulani people and Ohaneze, okay, see Basu and Dave Rumahi. If you want to destroy IPOB, go and kill Nam the Kano. Once you kill him, IPOB will collapse. Study, they couldn't kill me. I went to Kuje, they couldn't kill me. They came to my house, they could not kill me. Just one of these look at the But one thing they have done for us is this any day we pick up arms to fight the zoo, do you think anybody will blame us? That's what I said. Anaji will not go to Paraguay. And from today, you will remember that this day that I'm addressing this family in the UK, that the zoo have started to collapse. And there is nothing anybody can do to fix or to repair it anymore. I expect this family of IPOB to grow more money than it was ever before. If you are in this very hall tonight, you are very lucky. 
very, very lucky. Because you are about to witness what has never happened before. The emergence of a truly independent and a free nation in Africa. But above all, some of you have potentials. Your reward will come when Biafra is restored. Not now. So work very hard for it. And by the grace of Chugo Kabiyama, we shall be successful in the end. Thank you very much. Another Savior. Holy, holy, holy. Nande Kano. Another Savior. Holy, holy, holy. Nande Kano. Is another Savior. Holy, holy, holy. Natives, please. All the UK coordinators on the stage, please. I know. Every UK coordinator who's available now, please quickly, a picture with the ODC. Every coordinator, quickly, quickly. I know you come from far. All the coordinators, please, now. Particularly those who have traveled from a distance. All you coordinators on the stage now, please, quickly. I know you come from far. We are privileged to have when you see here. And I know you didn't bring your cameras in. So can we take a picture of you and him, please? Can come, on, come on the stage here. Okay. No, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. All the coordinators. All the coordinators. Those who are left. Okay. Who's the cameraman? We're about to go after this. Who's got the camera? We got a picture. The camera. Final call for all UK coordinators. Final call for all UK coordinators. CJ, picture please. Yes, there. He will stand here. Please stand there, sir. Zoka, join in. On you, on you see. And you see, please stand on the stage. On the stage, it's easier. So then everybody's...
<laughs> no, it's good to stay in there. Okay. Come here, some stand there. Stand there. Only coordinators, thank you. Only coordinators, thank you. That's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, now. Yes. Okay. Those who are about to go, those who are about to go, want to say a quick goodbye to us, quickly. Yes, good to go. Make it a path. Yes. Yes. Yeah. IPOB. And my bed. IPOB. One family, please can you sit down if you want to take picture with our director. Sit down now, please. IPOB, anybody that wants to appear to the, at the picture, please come to the center. Have your seat, please. This will only last for three minutes or two minutes. Please have your seat. IPOB. One family Durani Naga Nandi Durani Naga Have your seat please I be Please please the way we want to do it our leader will rotate round center and the back people will do the capture you will see it on the WhatsApp groups. Please. Do not get up, please. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Go back. Go back. Go back. Snap it. Go back. Go back. Who is taking the picture? Cameraman, let's go.
you see? Only one side remain and we'll go. Let's go. 
Okay, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. I don't know whether this uh, line is uh, going or not. Can I have microphone, please? That microphone. Oh, hey, Biafra. 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 Can we sit down for a minute, please? It's very important. Our leader, Mazen Namikano, has just left the venue. And it is very important that we have some semblance of serenity and quietness. Can everybody sit down, please? Can everybody sit down, please? They are not listening. Yeah, let everybody sit down. You know, don't know what. Sit down, please. Judge. There are important announcements here, please. Please, quick announcement, Debra. Can we sit down? Mommy, mommy, mommy. We want everyone to sit down, please. Very important. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Please sit down. Very important message. Can we sit down? Yes. Madam, if you can get in the no. Sit down, please. We are beer friend. Can't we sit down? Even if we are five people here, if we are asked to sit down, we sit down. Sit down for important announcement, please. Sit oh, down, okay, sit down. Skiwo. Oh, okay, yeah, sit down. I don't know whether this. <laughs> yes, sit down, sit, sit down, please. Right, Mazukach. Yes, thank you very much, uh, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I want to appreciate each and every one of us here uh, who have come around to, of course, welcome our leader back to the UK. It is a unique privilege that is not very common. I don't understand why even our security men are talking here. I don't understand that. I want to proceed and make this announcement very important. The whole world is, uh, of course, listening. On behalf of our leader, Mazin Nandi Kano, and specifically following the mandate given to me as his deputy, I am hereby announcing that Mazi Ken Abuba, Mazi Ken Abuba, is back to the family of IPOB. Mazi Ken Abuba, who was removed for one reason or the other, is back to the IPOB family. That issue has been resolved. And we want to use this opportunity to extend a very warm hand of fellowship to him and to ask the entire IPOB family, United Kingdom, in fact, all over the world, to recognize and appreciate that Mazike and Abuba is part of this family. And this has been a very direct announcement and instruction from our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, as I'm ably representing him here. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you. I will hand over this microphone once again to the UK National and uh, with a very specific purpose of him making further announcements. And after that, we will proceed to either end this program or postpone it.
Thank you, Deputy Leader. Biafra! Biafra! Freedom! Nalo, nalo, nay! Hello. My voice. I've worked all week to make today a happy OB. One family. Please pardon my voice. I've worked all week and I've been screaming and making sure everything works today. One house. Please, I can't shout. Can you give me your audience, please? Of a 
evangelism. Pete is what we use to evangelize because we got to tell our people what we know about ourselves and tell them why it is important for them to be with us. My voice is straight so much, so let me stop here. But if there's something else to talk about, you will see it on the forum. Thank you so much for listening to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that all the best you can do? Can we give a clap, please, a round? Whilst you're waiting for Rhino, uh, for a more exciting term. <laughs> all hell, Biafra. All hell, Biafra. IPOB. IPOB. On family. My names are Okechuku Steven Akamewe, a member of indigenous people of Biafra, Kent family. Are we listening to me? Should I continue? Hello? Hello? All hell Biafra. I want to continue from where my sister stopped. Based on Biafra Education Awareness Day, because of her voice, she couldn't further the teaching. We are prepared for the occasion, and we want to ask you to prepare yourself for the occasion. We are prepared to educate ourselves about our history and our story one day in a year. The preparation will start before the date. That is what she meant, that all the contents of the program will be published on the forums. IPOB, I am talking about Biafra Educational Awareness Day coming up soon this year. Secondly, secondly, I want to talk about our new project. We have a very, very good and wonderful project that requires your support. We want to start taking evangelism naturally from one postcode to the other. We want to go to the kind of awareness program with our project. While the women are progressing in the women program, the educational program is going. We want to get involved in sports activity. We want to get involved in food activities. We will start with football first. We have the crowd, we have the power, we have the money to organize it. Attending meetings to meetings and rally to rally have to be upgraded in this 2019. When we say we want Biafra women business, we mean to spend time on the activities that will bring Biafra. We need to go for Biafra. And we are not ready to go for Biafra with guns and bombs. We have to design programs that will get people involved into what we are doing without knocking on their door. IPOB Kent branch on this very day, we are supposed to present a full football team, a complete football team with complete jersey and football to play. But because of one thing or the other, we decided to keep it for another day. We have organized a complete football team that can help our brothers and sisters who came here to play football that are not ending their career as laborers instead of footballers. We want to create a room 
that can employ our brothers who came to UK with the hope of making money like others who are from other countries through football and ended up as laborers. We want to welcome them and at the same time give them a starting point by creating a football team. I want to suggest that we create a football team based on the way national will approve it. Kent, we are ready to host our team. Family is a project we created and we expect every family to start talking about it and start planning towards challenging Kent. IPOB IPOB want to repeat what I said before. I said every family need to start thinking towards establishing a football team that will take the message of our freedom program and that will even help us in evangelism. We want to go by sports. We want to go through visual. We have the TV station that will go live on our football matches. We will get the sponsors and we will continue from there. IPOB Sorry. I, am I talking to myself? I said every family should get ready to have a football team that will be ready to challenge Kent as from next two weeks. Yes. By, by next week, Kent, family, uh, Kent football team will start training. And when we start training, we need teams within IPOB family to challenge. And uh, we, 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 are, we want to promise you we will impress you with it. You will be happy. So many families have started it outside UK. And we did not start on time. I have, I have seen IPOB family playing nations. We can do it. Thank you. Oh, hell, Biafra. We are talking about how to t make our struggle into a lifestyle. Make into, into our attitude, into what we are doing. We have to bring this struggle naturally. We have to get it in from, from the field to education, to challenge, to registering it as sort of the, in one of the competitions in United Kingdom. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. Thank you. I'm handing over to Well done, everybody. We're rounding up now. There are so many things we could have discussed today, but it was such a unique occasion, a unique opportunity. We are truly privileged to have had our supreme leader here with us. But I just want to say a vote of thanks to every single person who have made today a wonderful day. Our deputy have stayed right at the end, and we're about to shut down the radio now. Listen, everybody, please put hand, let's clear this place, let's help tidy up, and then let us get back safely in time for next meeting. We're going to do this in prayer. And um, I think Mma is busy eating. So we need you to do a closing prayer. Because the blokes opened it. We need to do a closing prayer. So we'll give it to Mma. Come and say a closing prayer for us, please. And then we'll round up. Yeah? Closing prayer. Yeah. Closing prayer. Okay, let's all stand, please. For a closing prayer. Don't forget, we go, we're going to clear up here quickly. Our system, uh, <laughs> she's busy enjoying the pepper soup. <laughs> Biafra, Biafra, freedom, 
Okay, let's let's all rise for a closing prayer. We thank you for coming today. Thank you very for your much. Efforts. God bless you. Thank, thank you. Thank you.
Um, with that, from our indefatigable, unstoppable national coordinator of United Kingdom, Dr. Okachi Lloyd, we will conclusively at this particular point in time bring this program to an end. May the most high God continue to protect, continue to lead us, continue to give us every enablement that we shall, without any prevarication, without any equivocation, continue to move forward until Biafra is restored. From us from here at this particular venue where we have conversed, where we have deliberated, where we have indeed consummated everything that we have been doing, where we have met with our leader, Mazen Namdekanu. It is good night and God bless.